Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wang. Here is the question. If x and y are integers, we want to solve x squared plus x times y plus 2y squared equals 29 for x and y values. How to solve this kind of question? We only have one equation, and we need to find the values of two variables, x and y, in general, looks impossible. Here is the method to solve this kind of question. From the given equation, we treat x as a variable, y as a constant. The purpose is to narrow down the search window for x and y. We rewrite the given condition as this one. x squared plus y times x plus 2y squared minus 29 equals 0. We can see that this is a quadratic equation about x. A is 1, B is y, C equals 2y squared minus 29. We can use the quadratic equation to find x. Denominator that's 2a, here is negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac. Simplify the inside part of the square root. From the given condition, x is an integer. So here, inside part must be bigger than or equal to zero. We don't want to consider the complex number solution. One hundred sixteen minus seven y square should be big than or equal to zero. Simplify this inequality. We have seven y square less than or equal to one hundred sixteen. Continue to simplify this. We want to find what is the absolute value of y. Both sides divided by seven. Then take the square root. We have absolute value of y less than or equal to square root of 116 divided by 7. We can increase the inside part up to 175. Here should be less than because the numerator is bigger than this one. Why are we doing this? We can easily see that 175 is a product of 7 times 25. 7 canceled. Then you only have 25 inside. Square root of 25 equals 5. This implies absolute value of y less than 5. We narrow down the search window for y value. This implies y equals zero, positive negative one up to positive negative four. Those numbers are possible solutions for y. Again, we use the given condition. x is an integer. Here we have square root here. Inside part of the square root must be a perfect square. Otherwise, this number is an irrational number. Square root of 
spiraled part must be an integer. This implies inside the part must be a perfect square. Those are possible values. How to check this part is a perfect square? We can do one by one because the biggest number that's 116. We don't have much to check. We only need to check one square, two square, three square, up to 10 square. Plug in y values into here. y squared, so we can ignore the negative sign, positive sign, just to replace y by zero, y by one, by two, by three, by four. Now we can check y equals positive negative four is the only answer to make this a perfect square. Next, we consider y equals four and y equals negative four to find the corresponding x values. When y equals four, we only need to replace y by four here to find the two answers here because he has plus minus. Replace y by four, simplify this expression. We have two answers for x. x equals negative one, x equals negative three, corresponding to y equals four. Next thing we need to do is to solve this equation. When y equals negative four to find the x values. y equals negative four, replace y by negative four. Simplify this part, we can get x equals three and one. Three and one are corresponding to y equals negative four. In summary, we list all solutions here. Corresponding to four, we have x equals negative one, negative three, Corresponding to y value equals negative four, we have x equals three, x equals one. We have four answers for this equation. X and y both are integers. That's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.